okay guys today we are going to create this little guy here but we will mainly focus on creating uh the screen um because i got recently a comment from mark and he asked me if i could do a video um on how did he say that can you do a video of how you make the screen of the monitor curve out the curve out i believe is this area here he's talking about i hope so sometimes the english language is confusing to me but uh, i think this is a good way to say that so what we're gonna do today is creating this little guy here approximately um but mainly focusing on how to create the screen like you can see in here this is a little bit uh, both are pretty much low poly if you want very simple objects and uh, this guy is even lower uh, which you know I just wanted to see if I could do that the this is my my third attempt to create a video today um, because I came across some some minor problems and um, I hope I can do it today better Without further ado, I would say we're going to start now. So those guys I'm going to hide because I want to have a clean environment so that it's not confusing to people who are relatively new to Blender. Um, just want to say um, how to hide things. So if you select an object, uh, this one, and if you press shift and left mouse button, we can select two objects. And when we press H, we hide uh, objects uh, or later on. Yeah, anyway, we can hide stuff. Uh, if you wanna unhide stuff, we hold down uh, the Alt key and press one time H and our stuff is back. I'm saying this because we're gonna need that uh, later on uh, a lot, I believe. So let's hide those stuff because it's too confusing. So basically this is uh, how Blender greets you when you just um, start Blender um, and we will not do much except uh, maybe hiding uh, selecting the camera with left click and press H for hiding, selecting the light and uh, then H for hiding the light. It's not necessary, it's just nicer to, you know, to look at those stuff. Good, we, we can use the default cube. We jump into the edit mode uh, by, you know, with the mouse going into this position and choosing edit mode. You can also go into the edit mode by pressing the tap. Uh, now we're in object mode, press and tap again, edit mode, and so on. Good, we need the edit mode, and that's the important thing. The edit mode is basically the mode where you can add your, or edit your object. It, it was to me at least at the beginning confusing, not sure about you obviously. Okay, um, let's start. We are going to select the uh, X line or X axis. Um, and uh, I would recommend that you do the same thing. It doesn't actually matter which side you choose, but um, what always helped me in the past was to do exactly what uh, somebody on YouTube is saying in, in a video tutorial, because it can be confusing, even if it's just a, a minor thing. It's better if, if you're, except if you're, you know, if you're used to Blender, then that's not a problem at all. Okay, so what we're going to do is now selecting one face in the edit mode by left click with the mouse on the X line X. And uh, now we inset faces. Um, just we can do it by multiple uh, the ways to do that. We're going to choose today this guy here. You can also press E, you know. We just need a smaller face, so we're gonna use inset faces. Um, clicking on the yellow ball here and then holding the left mouse button and um, move the mouse a little bit around until we have this thing here. And now we can choose a size. This is really up to you what you like better. Um, so we're gonna do this once and uh, then we'll, we'll well, we do not hold the mouse button and let's press this again mouse a left mouse button and we're gonna make it even tinier maybe like this one here yeah so now okay 
this is what we did so far so far like uh, we inset phases two times and now we can press the right the mouse button and say subdivide it. If you do that, you can see there is a tiny little window called subdivide with an arrow. If you click on the arrow, uh, the window will get bigger and you can uh, type the number how many times do you want Blender to subdivide the surface. Right now it's one. We can go up to two, three. Actually, there's no limit. <laughs> You can type in whatever you want. Um, for our purposes, I think a 10 is a pretty okay value. It's pretty detailed, but not too much. And I think we should get a good result with that. I hope so at least. Good, we 10 times, that's what it is right now. Uh, we apply this by just left clicking into an empty field in Blender. Uh, and uh, so we have like this step two. Uh, next thing is, um, yeah, that might, might be important. We're gonna switch out from the edit mode um, and jump into uh, a viewport shading. It, it's kind of important because we're gonna bend the screen and there will be a little bit of, 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 of glitches visible. And we need to see that because it, it, it may disturb us later on. So that uh, step is good to do it right now. Uh, we're gonna give the cube uh, a, a material. We just uh, a color if you want. So uh, we're gonna go for that into, we are in the object mode. We go into a viewport shading and then we're gonna click on material properties. And uh, it has already a material. Um, if not, you can press the, if there is no material, you know, let's say there's no material, you can press the plus key and then new. And now there is a material and we're gonna press a left click on the base color and just choose whatever color you like. Do not choose yellow maybe because it can, it's hard to see the yellow sometimes in the edit mode. So, but you know, depending if you're used to that. I'm gonna just choose a color, whatever. I, you know, just something I like personally, or, you know, anyway, doesn't matter. And then we could tap into the edit mode by pressing tab key or um, here, choosing this guy here. So, um, yeah, next thing is, now we need to select this area here. Uh, there are so many ways to select stuff. You, it's really up to you. You can do it whatever you feel like important is that we select somehow the face here so one way i would suggest is if you if you have exactly the middle uh, of the square if you have the middle square on the x line then you can um, basically just um, hold down control the control key and type uh, the num key the plus num key once twice third time fourth time uh, fifth time. Uh, it, it works wise worse if you press the minus key on the numpad. Okay, that's just one way. Another way would be, I'm gonna undo this quickly, another way would be just, you know, pressing B and then you can uh, press the left mouse key and hold the left mouse key and then you can select the area you would like to uh, yeah, select, but I did a poor job, but this is also possible. Or just C. By C you can make uh, have a cycle, a circle, and then you can make it bigger or tinier with the mouse wheel and select those objects. You know, it doesn't matter. You can also just hold shift uh, and left click. So now you have, you know, so you get the idea. Anyway, it doesn't matter how you do that. I like this idea, this best. Um, Select in the middle, uh, square, holding left control, and then press the plus, <laughs> press the plus key, left control, pressing the plus key on the numpad, and uh, I have my, my phases selected. Now we're gonna give those phases a new material. If you, if this is what you see, that's good. Let's press here, uh, plus, and then we say new, and then we say assign this, 
and now uh, a screen area is currently white we want to have it green just you know that's a retro style why not um, and uh, now we have a green but we want to have a dark green so this is the color this the black makes it black or darker brighter we're gonna choose dark then in the same material property we still have to select the green material when we scroll down with the mouse wheel we see roughness we're gonna get almost completely rid of the roughness just a slight bit we leave just like that and now we're gonna um yeah tap out of that to check this quickly you know so if you hold the mouse wheel button you can you know probably rotate after your objects anyway so it looks good it looks uh like it should so let's go back into the edit mode uh, and uh, now we want to um, we want to hide everything what is not the green um, the screen uh, obviously because um, we want to bend this uh, thing a little bit it's not really necessary but it might help us today okay um in order to to select uh or what we're gonna what we want to do is um currently we selected the the screen that's good we're gonna go into this uh, menu select invert by control uh i yeah uh we select everything well we we select the invert stuff so um you get the idea i guess and now we can press h for hiding stuff uh if you freak out because you forgot how to unhide stuff uh, you unhide stuff by pressing alt key and uh, holding the alt key and pressing h now it's back again uh, it's here again <laughs> we're gonna press h because we want to have it hidden and uh, next step is we pick this guy here uh, the middle square uh, only the middle and then we're gonna activate proportional editing um, i wanna choose before we do the next step proportional editing click on the what is right next to the that and we click on sphere smooth does work also well but maybe sphere is a little bit better i think so not sure anyway so this is proportional editing when if it's blue or activated like this this is good and sphere when we press now the g key we get this oops, we get a cycle I'm pressing the g key we have a circle and if we just don't do anything except uh, using the mouse wheel for uh scrolling down or up then the 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 cycle gets bigger or smaller basically the cycle determines uh, which faces or vertexes are, will be affected so everything what is within the cycle will be affected by the proportional editing and proportional editing just means it kind of well you get you get the idea when you see that it's it's you know, so much easier than me explaining those stuff um, okay very important okay let's let's you know we activate the proportional editing this guy now uh we're gonna uh just yeah from this side it's nicer uh we're gonna press g and in my case it's the red line the x axis or x line and now we just move the mouse forwards or backwards and we're gonna um undo this forget about this quickly right click nothing happened i forgot one little thing we're gonna press in this mode uh a selecting a means selecting everything because the rest of the stuff is hidden we can only select what we see right now uh, but important is that you can that you have selected everything we're gonna press right mouse button we need to be in this uh, face selection menu and we right mouse button uh, brings up the menu and we need shade smooth so now everything is smooth that we need uh, because we want to have a smooth screen uh, it's important for us to see us okay this is just i forgot but we have it now um now back to the we are still at proportional editing we select 
only the the square in the middle that's also important pressing g and x now we only move the thing around on the x-axis and now you see when we move the mouse we can bend this a little bit if we um, make the square bigger you know we influence more areas smaller we influence only this area sometimes when you do not see the 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 the, the, the cycle then you it's maybe just too big and you cannot see it in this case if you know you have activated it uh, just scroll up until the cycle appears because that can happen that you just don't see that and you're getting crazy good um, yeah so now it's a little bit uh, tricky now we're gonna bend this thing to the point where we like it when we like it and uh, this is something what was it's still kind of tricky to me um, so you see when we are oh, sorry so I bended it to the point I liked it and then let me just undo this quickly so I pressed a G and then X and I bend this to the point where I think oh yeah that's a good screen we can adjust this later still a little bit but um, I try to get them no something nice so there is only a little bit of a problem i believe because we have not um subdivided it very uh, we didn't we only subdivided the faces 10 times if you do it m more i think we can achieve a better result but we, we can do it pretty well i practiced this today a little bit um so now when we look at the at the screen we see a little bit of a glitch here you know just maybe slightly but um i've figured out on how to make this pretty looking pretty okay i hope so so next point is um we go back into the edit mode and we are deactivating make sure this is deactivated because if you forget that it kind of makes you crazy you have no idea what's going on especially if this is a new thing to you so deactivate proportional editing we don't need that anymore we're gonna press alt and then holding alt down and pressing h for unhide the rest of the cube uh, the stuff and now we're gonna um, deselect everything you can either do it by just clicking somber in blender or if it doesn't work you can also deselect stuff by going to select and say select none okay uh, I need to think quickly. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. So now, in order to get rid of those little... I mean, in this case, not too bad, actually. But you can see it's a little bit... Here it looks nice, but the rim, the border are looking a little bit weird. And uh, so when we go into uh, the edit mode, which you may still are, uh, important is in the edit mode now, we're going to select everything, the green screen either manually again this is up to you whatever you like best you should feel comfortable you don't need to do it in fancy way uh, but there's also a color select thing which is also nice you know either way important is that you somehow select those areas if you did this then you need to press the e key once and then you just drag the mouse you're not pressing any buttons you just drag the mouse uh, forwards or backwards until you get this kind of thing here and uh, when you you know approximately it doesn't have to be perfect and now we're gonna uh, press s for scaling it down when we press s we can you know make it bigger or uh, you know can change the size that is important it helps us to uh, get rid of the a little bit rid of this weird uh, outer rim glitch if you want again so we did you know um, this one here um, and uh, I'm gonna go backwards just a few steps so again back to where I said we're gonna select those areas um, just want to say this again pressing E once then moving the mouse and if you are satisfied we say left click and we apply this if you want uh, and now we're gonna press s for scaling things down and we just make it a little bit 
scale it down until we think we don't see such a weird glitch anymore. This is an important step. Um, at least this is what I figured out today to make if we go into the object mode to get a little bit rid of the of this weird face here, of this weird glitch on the on the other rim. And maybe even if we yeah, it's not completely gone, but we can uh, work with that. So let's see. Okay. I try to... Yeah, I think that's, that's okay. That's not perfect, but it's okay. It's, I mean, it's a low poly object anyway. Okay, so we have um, done this until the point you like it. Um, now we are going to... Uh, when you... To select more so we have select that this guy is here we want to select the rest of it too i can just do it by control by holding control and the plus key if this doesn't work for some reason you can also you know do the manual stuff just select it somehow if you just like selecting things like in this way do it important is again that you feel comfortable with that okay so um when this is selected the uh, green screen and uh, this thing here uh, we're gonna press g and x in my case and then we're gonna just pull the whole thing back here backwards and now we can press s and x this can you know change the whole thing here again we can adjust that a little bit Okay, so it doesn't look perfect. We try to make the green screen bigger, but what is missing still, we need um, another rim. And uh, in order to make another rim here, we are going to go into the edge mode, edge selecting mode, click on this edge here first, holding the shift key and left mouse button, this guy and uh, now we can manually select the rim if you want i'm gonna do this with you until this point oh let's do this completely together and there's also a better way to do that but i want to make sure that everybody can do it so this i would call the newbie way i did this for a long long time important is that you have selected that how is up to you and only those uh, the rim um, the other way would be like um, selecting this guy selecting that guy and then holding shift and control and pressing the plus key and then it follows a pattern but only to this point right now unfortunately then there is another way we can also just hold shift and press the left mouse button no, oh, I forgot. I'm getting so sorry, guys. Sorry. How did I do that? <laughs> ah, nonsense. When we hold, uh, had, uh, I had a brain leg. When we hold Alt and Shift and select this thing, then he selects the you know the whole, you know. Then again, uh, Alt and Shift. Selecting this guy, all then shift, selecting this, all then shift, yeah, still holding all then shift, and this one here. Again, how you do that is really up to you. The important thing is now we're gonna need to press Control and B, and now we direct the mouse. And we need a little bit of a rim here. This is important, it gives a little bit more immersion. Is it immersion? I hope so. Uh, you know, whatever you like. I think this I like. The scale is good for me. And uh, so while this is selected, we give it a new material, say the plus. This is selected. I press the plus key, say new, say assign. Then we're going to choose the color black and make it a little bit shinier and step out. In the object mode you can see ah oh, it doesn't look too bad a little bit of stuff is going on here that's because um, only this surface is smooth um, we 
there are multiple ways to make stuff smooth. You can do this in object mode, but if you do this in object mode, everything becomes smooth. Um, just that can sometimes, um, you know, not be nice. Uh, also, a thing I recently figured out. Anyway, let's go back to the up edit mode. Um, we can select. Uh, this is already selected, but we can also select those guys. Uh, I could do it like that. Um, but you know, select somehow. I pr just press C. Um, scale this uh, circle down and press the left mouse button. Just we need to select the rim. If you sometimes select stuff you don't want to do, uh, then you can press the middle mouse button for deselecting stuff. So it doesn't. It's not so bad. And then right click and say smooth. So that that'll help us. You see, it's a little bit glitchy here, but th that's not a problem because first of all, uh, we want to make it bigger. So again, we need to select stuff. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna just choose the easy way now. I'm gonna say I want to select the green area. I want to select the um, black area too. So that's fine. If I press now the S key, important is that you selected the black one and the green one. And when you press the S key for scaling stuff, you can now drag this a little bit, make it bigger. You know, like this one here. And we're gonna step out. And this doesn't look too bad already. It's a little bit, uh, maybe here a little bit, but it's okay. What we can do is now still, you see what is selected, the green and the black stuff, pressing the G key, pressing X, and then we're gonna drag this backwards. So, um, and this is something you can now decide for yourself how you like it better, you know, but I like, I just like it like that. And you see it's a, it's a pretty, pretty uh, good screen. Uh, like I said, the, the please follow the, the steps accurate, like I did at least at the beginning. Do not skip anything when you, uh, especially when you have the glitches here on the other hand, and you probably skipped one step. You know, it's a little bit tricky, but at the same time, if it doesn't look perfectly, but you learn that, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because it comes, you know, the, the being. <sighs> You're gonna make stuff better no matter what, but in the future, not at the beginning. Uh, my experience was when I followed stuff on the, uh, video tutorials on YouTube is I always my my thing always kind of was screwed up, but at least it 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 looked a little bit like like this on YouTube. So you you know um, try to make it good, but don't be disappointed if it's not that great. Uh, it you're gonna get better if you keep doing it. That I can promise you. Okay, so that's good enough. That's still a little bit of a of, of a glitch if you if you wanna be honest. Um, if you would m use more polygons, I believe you can even make it better. But it's pretty good for such a low poly thing, I think. So the next thing is. Um, now we're gonna continue creating um, the uh, under thing. We basically did the screen stuff, so you know that is okay. Um, you can experiment with the roughness for sure. You know what you like better. It's always good. You know, like this one also. Uh, yeah, but I would like to create a little bit the the old screen stuff. Um, yeah, so it doesn't have to be exactly like um, like what I showed you at the beginning. Just a little bit. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say it. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to say it. It's a tutorial, right? Okay, so we're gonna press uh, E for extrude and and drag it a little bit down. Uh, and what I would like to have um, is basically uh, a little bit of a round thing. And um, so we need to. Uh, we are still using this guy. Uh, we can also just press E for extrude. Um, no, we cannot. We have to use the inset faces. Then, you know, uh, selecting the the ball here, the yellow one, and uh, pushing this guy a little bit, you know, down. Scale it a little bit down if you want here. 
and uh, let's do this again i'm gonna select this guy and scale it down one more time um, and now right click and subdivide 10 times doesn't have to be 10 times but 10 times again is a good value if you go up higher stuff becomes more detailed especially you know screen or what i gonna do is uh, make a uh, uh, circle cycle circle thing anyway um what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna go to mesh and say transform to sphere you can also press shift alt and s and when we you know now move the mouse it becomes at some point a cycle we apply it by left clicking now we're gonna press x and then we say delete faces and now we're gonna go into the edge uh, mode uh, edge selecting mode and i'm gonna hold down uh, alt and shift and, and press select those areas those areas those areas and those areas how you do that is again up to you pressing f for filling in the whole square now i'm pressing s for scaling it just a little bit up because it's too tiny uh, pressing e for extrude and and dragging it downwards and now this looks good so the question is that's not too bad i'm gonna overdo it a little bit because sometimes it's not visible um yeah so how do we make it back to a, a square to our to our to a square right yeah square square again that was also always a question there's a good way to do that we need to select those guys pressing shift select oh face select uh, this one here pressing shift selecting this that this guy here this guy all by pressing shift uh, can you select multiple times uh well yeah um and now we're gonna press shift d that duplicated this guy here and we want to drag him uh down on the z axis right now we're just pu putting him here to this position because we need to connect uh the cycle with this guy again and a good way a very easy way an accurate way is to determine where the points are here actually we need the in this case the z x value so this guy we copy this value because this is where where the vertexes are and we want to um go back to the face selection mode it will work too we can also just select this guy but i think more accurate are the vertexes let's just check this out quickly Oh, it doesn't matter in this case. Good, we can use... We're going to do this again, don't worry. Selecting the faces, selecting this guy here. And now we're going to co copy this value. Selecting those guys. And uh, pasting in... Uh, copying like you used to copy stuff, right? Like, like words. Uh, like control C is copying, control V is uh paste stuff so we're gonna paste this value into here and now those lines perfectly matching each other so the vertexes here and there they completely fine and they are you know on the same level the only problem is now that uh, we have doubles created we have vertexes anyway that there are multiple vertexes i'm not gonna go into that too much uh, in order to get rid of that we're gonna press in the vertex selection mode here where you see all those points we're gonna press a and then we're gonna press m for merge i sometimes say marriage no i don't say that anymore i guess i got rid of this but i said this for a long time um because i like it i guess so we say uh, merge by distance and we've removed 44 doubles which we just created here um but now when we move that you know it's connected you can see that it's perfectly connected so we made a cycle a sphere if you want or whatever this is called english is sometimes a little bit hard um and uh, connected it back to the 
uh, square again. Good. We need to um, activate to to con to, to just go into the edge menu. Uh, edge select edge selecting mode. Select this one, that one, this one, and that one. By you know again, you can select multiple things by keep pressing the shift key. Selecting this one, keep pressing the shift key, selecting that, this and that. Pressing E for extrude a little bit on the Z X uh, and uh, to the point where you like it, you know. Um, so, and then I'm gonna press F for fill in and we have a square. I just don't like how it looks. So I'm gonna just uh, select the, the, this face and you know adjusting that a little bit to my personal likeliness this i think you, you are able to do without me telling you how to do that if not just try it you don't have it doesn't have to be, look the same from here on you know that is really up to, to your personal taste so okay then oh, i'm gonna um i make a is it a quarter <laughs> not sure i'm gonna stretch this here a little bit so i'm gonna press s and then i'm gonna press y no y um make it like um like this and press e for extrude and, and bring it up yeah it's not bad but let me just undo certain steps uh, steps pressing uh holding control and pressing y or z yeah Sometimes I'm confused about that because in the German, a Y and Z is um, vice versa or the other way around. And you can imagine that this makes me crazy sometimes. Anyway, so I made it back to this point. Um, I just want to uh, select those guys and I will press now. Yeah, exactly. I will press uh, hold alt and press E extrude uh, faces along the normals if you don't know what's the difference don't worry about it test it don't worry about it um, extrude for the normals and then when i just drag and you know move the mouse you you get to the idea at some point so this position yeah that's good and now i'm gonna i'm gonna select those guys and press G, uh, Z, and make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> this is not how I made it last time, but anyways, I, you know, the problem is I, I not, never do tutorials and, and uh, it, the video is getting longer than I expected. But anyways, we are on the main, the, the main stuff we did already. Now we're going to press Z and Z and X. Oh, this looks kind of nice, actually. Hey, this is funny. Somehow, this thing here. Oh, undid the step. Um, okay, basically, I just make want to make a quarter. Or... Yeah. Okay, I select now those guys here. <laughs> pressing... Um, pressing S and uh, Z. No, S and X. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, you get the idea when I have like, like um, you know, this kind of shape. But whatever shape it is, it's um, it's fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna stretch this a little bit more down. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. What we could do is maybe give the rim of those guys here. This, or the edges, make the edges a little bit rounder here. So, uh, but before that... Yeah, let's squeeze this guy here a little bit down. We're gonna press G, we're gonna press Z, uh, yeah, Z, I believe. And now this looks more like, like screen-like, right? Um, and then uh, we select... Sometimes, you know, you can either choose this with the mouse, uh, like this is the vertex uh, selecting mode, this is the edge selecting mode and this is the face selection mode i probably did already uh, so i apologize for that um you can just press one the key number one key number two key number three and you'll see they 
you know depending on which key one two three three is uh, face selection two two is uh, only edge selection and one is vertex selection so that's uh, the, the thing we're gonna press three for face selection and then we're gonna uh, scale this guy down we are still using the inset faces and like this one here e fox oops, no. e fox truth not sure if i double this right now uh okay let's do this again the up e fox truth that a little bit dragging it out uh pressing two uh, edge selection g z and make it like this one here okay not too bad you see this doesn't look too good right we're gonna select uh, pressing free face selection pressing left mouse button this one holding shift pressing left mouse button selecting two of those guys now we hold control and shift and press the number plus key once twice third fourth you get the idea if i just hold it uh, it will automatically select the pattern i gave blender and now we press right mouse button and say smooth let's go into the object mode looks a little bit better not perfect but better okay and um yeah let's do the the stuff you know so that we can get get done oh no wait a second we're gonna you know edge selecting uh this one i select and that one too now i'm gonna press um hold control and press b and oops i don't want to select those guys here only those guys i want to select control and b and drag them out a little bit you can see we can make it a little bit rounder the edges you know by the way let's undo this control and z control and b we can when we press that sorry control and b if i just move the mouse and i press left click we get the window we applied this already but we can here also change the number of the segments i would say we're gonna use three segments to make it a little bit more smooth um and after i did this i'm gonna click left click somewhere and now i undo this again uh, and now i press this again Control b because now I can adjust this a little bit. Uh, Blender remembers what I what I just did. The value is rem being remembered, and see it's still free. You can always, if you didn't know what was the default, always right click and say reset to the default default value. Um, but for now, free I like, like you know if you like those stuff. So you see, it's a little bit. Um, yeah not smooth so we're just selecting nothing <laughs> we just select uh, using the face selection this one this one and this one this one this one and this one and now we say right click uh, shade to smooth go into the other menu you can see this is it looks pretty good for um such a low poly thing okay next thing is this guy here is uh we want to have like you know the, the old disk stuff we we used to to have so either are we going to subdivide this to the point uh, we like it so we can also you know like like this or we insert that you know sometimes subdivision is better um you know what we can just uh, yeah let's make it like this i'm gonna be a little bit uh, crazy about this i'm gonna press e and uh, move this you know e for extrude like this i just want to see it, how this looks like and now i'm gonna uh, use the inset faces um you know insert faces um clicking on the yellow guy making it small i want to have it smaller actually i want to just have a tiny little thing that where the diskette i believe is going into that so that's fine and now we're gonna make this a black so we have selected this we can use this material here so now uh, it's also black it, it will help you know create the immersion 
and let's do this again we need to make it uh, tinier one more time so insert inset faces so um now let me just undo this one more time undo stuff control and z um, we're gonna press first e for extrude um and apply like that and we make the whole thing black so we're selecting this one that one this this one that one and that one again you can also do it like this is one way it's okay or you just select this guy press down control uh, and hold down and press the plus key and you select everything what is surrounding that and now we assign black to that and we need a little bit of a hole so only selecting this uh, uh, face clicking on the inset faces and uh, scaling it down with that like this and pressing e for extrude and just you know pushing it to this position now if you're in the object mode you can see ah oh, this is where this cut is going to uh, into uh, how you do that it's really up to you you can whatever you like so here we want to have some buttons so i'm gonna just uh, right click on this surface subdivide one two Ah, three why not and now we're gonna be crazy we're selecting this one that one this one you know it doesn't really matter whatever you like and this one pressing e for extrude and dragging it come bringing it out a little bit and now we're gonna press Control and b moving the mouse around until something happens and then we say uh, like this one and changing you know this is doesn't have to, you don't have to do it the same way in this case but i just like it yeah so i'm gonna undo this again so i'm using you know this i'll be direct out Control b and yeah that's okay we can give this the material the black one i assigned it to that and now we're gonna selecting those guys and give it a new material like new new assign um and uh, just gray or something ah, that's good good enough we can also make the edges here gray um we can make it even more detailed if we select everything now a little tip again if you just select this this if you just select the face of this one then you still hold shift this one that one and this one and you press on the you press now control and one time the plus key second time the plus key and the third time the plus key you see you get the whole thing very easy to select now press e for extrude and we're gonna push this inside and scale it down a little bit s scaling it down and this was completely nonsense undo this undo that uh, <laughs> you know it happens sometimes how, how I did this, let me just think for a second. Ah, I know what, why. Um, I could show you this, but maybe, you know, if you are a beginner, it probably blows your mind right now. Don't be, if you're not a beginner, it doesn't blow your mind at all, but it's, it's, you know, that's how things are, depending where you are. You can ignore that. I'm gonna just show you this. If this is not uh, behaving like it should, then you can also choose. Um, uh, individual origins don't think about what it is just see when we press s now let's get it down you see they are yeah undo this press e for extrude and s for scaling down and left click to apply and now e to extrude and push no not e to extrude now just g and x and we're just gonna put them here okay you can do it like that but whatever you like it's gonna be okay it's also a little bit now it has more poly for not really much reasons okay i want to keep it simple still it's a little bit too much okay i'm gonna undo this here and then i'm gonna go back to what was it before i don't even know oh, that's fine here um those stuff if it if this irritates you um sometimes you would like to you know make things multiple things bigger or smaller and it doesn't work just keep experimenting with those stuff 
and also this thing between you know try sometimes to use normals anyway just experiment with that um yeah what else then this one here uh we can select oops i'm too fast sorry uh we're gonna select this guy and we're gonna we can also just be in this menu here pressing e for extrude s for scaling down and then you can do the same thing um applying this with the left mouse button e for extrude x for the x line axis and now we have this guy here now we're gonna select this one that one this one and that one giving it a new material yeah let's give it a new material new design like this one here and yeah yeah it looks looks actually nice um I'm gonna just make it a little bit yeah this one here should also look slightly differently okay and let's make this more like you know i like the yellow stuff a little bit better i mean this looks better but the problem i was thinking is if this is a little bit too yellow i'm gonna show you this um I mean, i'm overdoing it here right now and now we're gonna select stuff i mean it's still visible but not as good as before and we need in this case we also need to work with the colors that's why i choose blue i like blue but not when it comes to the screen i like this actually a lot a little bit darker yeah it looks like a 60s pc yeah here we go you know that's about it i mean i don't didn't want to do to be too too detailed um I mean, this one, E for ext to extrude, S, getting it down. Ah, see, that's a difference here. This one, if you choose, it's always, the edges are always uh, have the same, not always, but most of the time, the same, um, you know, the same length, if you want. When you press E for extrude, S for scaling it down, you see, the edges are not the same at all in this case so that's why i like to choose this one here uh, anyway so we did this one here we can just e for extrude and x and then we're gonna just push this guy here a little bit and now we have this one here and what you could do now is use text uh, let's just do this quickly uh, if you hear some some sounds my, one of my neighbors is rebuilding I think the whole apartment. Ah, it's not too bad actually. But that's oh, we have to go into the object mode. Um, Shift and A, and we say text, and we say uh, we say uh, Alt R. No, it's already the no. We need to change the position. So let's rotate this. Not this one. Not that one. Maybe this one. Oh yeah, this 90 degree in my case, uh, but you can also like I do always because I'm always confused about those things, you know, just change certain numbers and you see what it does. That's how I learn stuff. Um, okay, let's drag this a little bit forward like this one. So, there is a there is a way on zooming into objects but you have to google how to set this up I, because i simply forget i set this up once and you know this one here sometimes you are somewhere and you would like to be on the object and i set up a key for that i forgot how i did this and i every time when i when i create uh, install blender new and i forget about i have to google it so just google um zoom in on objects in blender and you get a pretty good description on how to do that because it's very helpful um but anyway i you see I'm, I'm struggling here a little bit because i cannot see the the thing here i mean this i'm not gonna explain because you know it's just i try to bring the text into this one approximately just want to show what you could do I'm gonna select the object again, edit mode, select this face, just wanna make it darker, assign because it looks better. Here we go, text can be here. There is a way to to to, to you know to, to connect that, but today it's fine. Also sometimes it's good to 
I don't want to overwhelm you. You don't have to do that. Uh, text, if you want to make it like a, a three dimensional, very quick, just use a modifier. So I, I selected the text, uh, click on the modifier here, set, say add modifier and set solidify. Uh, for text, it's better to use complex. Sometimes weird things happen with text only. And so you can adjust the thickness here a little bit. It just looks better, you know, so yeah, a little bit. Well, that's about it. Uh, you know, I would like to, to draw a smiley because I love smileys. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I think I showed you how to create basically the screen. This was the question. The video became longer. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to, you know, you can give me some feedback if, if you saw that. If somebody sees that, actually, I'm not even sure if Mark will see that. <laughs> But um, you can give me feedback and tell me what I could do better because I simply do not know. Um, and I also would, I bet I forget stuff which was difficult for me when I learned Blender. So if I'm too fast or something, just, you know, tell me in a good way what I did wrong. And besides from that, I wish you a good day and good luck with your stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. And Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen is the German goodbye.